Playing good basketball, they um, obviously broke through and beat Wilmington a little over a week ago. And uh, they've played Mason tough uh, recently. They played Drexel very, very tough in their last outing. Uh, you know, Pat's got them really playing with great spirit. Uh, so, you know, they're going to come in here and, and go at us. We've got to be ready. This is just a, sh a showing of the support that we have and uh, the relationship between our fans and our program, which we love. Uh, I don't think it's so much about, about the opponent. You know, obviously, you know, when you, when you play one of those uh, games that everyone is, is super excited about, there may be that extra buzz in the building, uh, like when we played Richmond earlier in the year. Uh, but uh, I think we've gotten to the point now where every game obviously is sold out, but every game is, is something that people are excited about. It's become an event. It's become uh, uh, something that people, you know, want to come together at and, and people want to watch and see what our guys do. So I tell our team all the time, we need to have an appreciation uh, of that because there's maybe one or two percent of college basketball, you know, players in the country that have an atmosphere like that on a nightly basis. Well, I don't think it's a matter whether you like it or not. It just is what it is. I'm, you know, I would love to have a guy averaging 20 points a game. But, you know, sometimes when you have someone who's a dominant scorer, then other scorers are not able to emerge. And I think what's happened this year is we've had you know, five, six, seven guys that at, at different times have been able to step up and really score the ball for us. Uh, Brad's still our leading scorer, and, and he's still the guy, trust me, that other teams uh, prepare for the most. And, and that's one of the reasons why open shots have been harder to come by for him this year compared to last year is that you know, he's a number one on their scouting report this year. Uh, whereas last year as well, we got to worry about Jamie inside. We got to worry about Joey coming off the ball screen. Uh, Brad was certainly on there, but there were, there were some other key figures. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice that some guys have stepped up. I think they're just scratching the, you know, the tip of the iceberg. J Javante Reddick uh, is going to continue to get better scoring. Travion Graham. He's probably the most natural scorer of all those guys, you know, between him and Rob. You know, even though Rob has kind of struggled shooting the ball this year, uh, those guys can put the ball in the basket. I guess I would say I'm pleased, but I'm not satisfied or content. You know, there's still a long, long way to go. But, you know, for February 7th, you know, I, I'm happy that we've made progress each month and, uh, and gotten better. You know, I think coming out of the tournament in Charleston, everybody knows you know, we had a long way to go, and, and there was a lot of things um, you know, that really we only had one guy at that point, Brad, that was you know, capable of playing major minutes and, and doing it comfortably. And I think since then, we've gone from having one guy to you know, hopefully eight or nine. So uh, I think we've made progress. There's really no schedule, you know, for a coach. I mean, you know, you don't look at the the uh, you know the, the opponents and say, well, we're going to win that game. We're going to not win that game. I mean, we're, every game we go into, we, we're trying to win. Uh, we're 20 and five, 25 games in. Uh, you know, I certainly have an appreciation for the fact that you know most teams in the country would, would probably love to have that record, but I'm more focused on Towson. Uh, tomorrow night and, you know, and finishes, finishing the regular season the right way. Not preparing for them at all right now. Uh, now, Mike Rhodes will because he'll have the scouting report. Uh, so he'll, he'll prepare for them well in advance. And then after the game before, I think we play Mason right before them. Uh, that's a pretty important game. So a after that game, uh, you know, I'll shift my focus to Northern Iowa. But I check the scores every day. You know, I saw that they beat number 12 Creighton. Uh, over the weekend, and they have a really good program. Uh, you know, they, they uh, have had some big wins this year over high majors, over Creighton, over Old Dominion. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be a, a, a tough task, but the game's here. So we're excited about, about uh, welcoming, welcoming them to the Siegel Center. It depends on, on the year. Uh, some years it's critical and it can make all the difference. Uh, you know, ironically, for both uh, George Mason and, and our Final Four runs, uh, it was going on the road in the bracket buster to Wichita State that got us into the tournament, you know, and winning. You can't just go, you got to win. Uh, so it, for those two teams in those specific years, it was huge. It was everything. Other years, uh, it's, it doesn't make as big of a difference. And then certainly, you know, in some years, maybe it could hurt you if you don't, if you don't take care of business and win the game.
Oh, it's not so much that this season's different, just life is different, period. Uh, you know, I was thinking about that this morning. Um, just can't really imagine what life was like before my daughter was born. But in terms of basketball and with our team, uh, it really hasn't changed much uh, in terms of my approach. Uh, it, you know, sleep a little bit less, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I would gladly trade that for having a, uh, a happy, healthy daughter. Uh, it gives you a little bit more perspective on things uh, and in, in a strange way. And guys told me this before um, my daughter was born. It, it makes you want to win even more. Um, you know, now, you know, having a child, uh, you know, you want to win and you want to do well for her, even though she knows nothing about uh, what it's like. She comes to the games, but she, uh, although, you know, the one game that we lost at home, she, she was very, very upset after the game and all the other games, she's been great. So maybe she knows.